We got our five cheesy tortellini, nice and fresh, just like so. Look at that beauty. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you wanna come with some raw marinara sauce. This is the best of the sauces, as you already know. Now, let's put the whole jar, cause we want this tortellini very, very nice and tasty, okay? You don't want no dry tortellini. This recipe is so easy, you'll fall in love with it right away. Now to make this super creamy, let's add some heavy whipping cream. Yes, you can use half and half, you know, if you're on a diet, but you know, I want it nice and creamy. I don't want to renounce to anything. And I'm going to add about, you know, one to two cups, not too much, because, you know, we just want it to be nice and creamy, but not overwhelming. Now, half of a diced white onion, you can use your yellow onions, or you can use, you know, red onions, whatever is your favorite onions. Eventually, this is gonna be nice and sugary and all melted in the sauce. It's gonna be fantastic, okay? Of course, where are we going without some fresh basil, okay? So, unfortunately, my plant of basil, I've been using so much basil, I don't wanna hurt her anymore. So, with, I just bought a little bit some to give her some break, right? So, and I suggest you do that too. Do not overwork your basil plants, right? Because they're gonna be, they're gonna make small leaves and that's it. So let's put all these nice leaves. You can put it together or you can just uh, crush it with your hand just a little bit. There you go. I give you the best of both words, just like that. A lot of basil in there. Now, where are we going without adding some extra virgin olive oil, right? I know we have the cream, but we absolutely wanna put a little bit of that Italian flavor of the olive oil, and you can put it on the end as well. There you go, just a nice, you know, thread of olive oil. Look at this, goodness. Now, I hope you think, you don't think that I forgot that we have to add a little bit of the garlic. So put that garlic in there. There you go, where you going you? Where you go? We'll grab that later. So crush, look at that. Wow, crush this beauty. We're gonna put the sides and this one as well. There you go. Boom, fantastic. Just like that, look at this maravillousness. Oh my goodness. Boom, fantastic, all right? We're halfway there, ladies and uh, gentlemen. Huh? Now, of course, a little bit of salt. Boom, boom, boom. And I suggest you add just a little bit now, and once it's done, you add if you need more. Oh, some crushed black pepper. We want to crush it now, because we're going to have all the flavor, right? All the flavor, because the one that's crushed already, all the flavor is gone in the air. It got no flavor. Now, for last seasoning, guys, last seasoning. Some Italian seasoning, you can use uh, just some oregano if you prefer. I feel like this is a little bit more complete of profile of depth of flavor. So let's add a little bit of that nice Italian seasoning because it got the rosemary, all the goodness, but not too much, right? Not too much, because we're using a great quality sauce. We have a lot of flavor already, so there's no need to do that. Fantastic, now guys, we're about done, okay? Now let's just take whatever you have, a ladle, a spoon, and you want to give it a nice, incredible you know nice touch nice whisk just like that look at this paradise look at this pink sauce it looks like the pink sauce on tiktok but it's not that because this one it tastes so much better this is no pink sauce this is the real pink sauce oh my goodness look at this creamy and delicious oh my goodness okay okay now i'm not gonna add any more water because tortellini cook fast Okay, and we don't want to make a soup. If you see that during the cooking process you need more, just add a little more. And you know why I'm not adding any water? Because right now in the center, before we start cooking this, I'm going to add a whole bowl of fresh mozzarella, just like that. So let's take it out of the packaging. Look at this incredible goodness, okay? And I'm going to put it just in the center, just like that. Just the mozzarella bowl in the center. And now this is gonna release all the nice mozzarella water, you know, and it's gonna get all in there. And then after we're done, we're gonna mix this, 
you know, and it's gonna be so cheesy and delicious. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, it's time to close these up. Cook it on medium to high heat, just like that. Uh, let's do a high heat for the first start. And for just about, you know, 90 minutes, you know, or one hour, you just put it and you forget it. Oh my goodness, are you ready for this? I sure am. One, two, and three. Wow, look at this. Look at all the melted mozzarella. Now, it's very important. We give it a nice whisk all around. Make all the mozzarella get nice and melted. Look how creamy and delicious it is. Making sure it's all nice and melted everywhere the mozzarella goes. Look at that, look at this. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness, there you go. Slowly, you know, but surely, all this delicious mozzarella, it's gonna get all incorporated in there, just like that. But we ain't got time for that, right? Cause we are hungry, there you go, look at that. All right, I think I did a fair job for now. Then you come over, you make sure it gets melted everywhere. Now, finishing touch, guys. Just a little bit of fresh Parmesan all in there. Look at that rain, fairy dust, there you go. And we are ready to eat this beauty. Just like so. Fantastic. Okay, no need. Sei pronta ad assaggiare? Prontissima per wow. questo piatto speciale. Wow, look at that cheese. <coughs> nice. You see, perfectly not too dry, you know, not too soupy. That's all you need. Now, depending on your what kind of brand of crock what you have, the cooking time might, might be different. Look at that mozzarella. Oh, I'm sure getting that. There you go. Fantastic, okay? My crock pot took about 90 minutes. Depending on yours, it could be different. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. Wow. Pa speciale. Mm. Oh, man. Mm. Apovi. Mm. Grandma approved. Make this and let me know. Oh, so easy. Sì, so delicious. You put it there, you forget about it. Da then you come back. Da fare subito e mangiare. Mm. Wow. Mm. 